the bladed stance. In order to be in a, a position to defend yourself, you have to blade your body. So for Gina, right from where you're at with your feet shoulder width apart or slightly uh, more than shoulder width apart, I want you to step straight forward with your less dominant foot. Now you don't want to step too far, I mean you don't want to step too shallow, that's perfect right there. Now you're going to take your feet and your body and you're going to blade them slightly towards a 45 degree angle. Now what this does is it protects our vulnerable line. Our vulnerable line is from our nose to our groin. Uh, that's a vulnerable area should it be struck. So we slightly blade our body to protect that area. Now your, your weight is equal, your knees are bent, and your hands are at waist level or above. From this position you can block, you, you can move, you can escape and you can, you can counterattack, you can defend yourself. Now notice, notice her feet position here. Uh, there, she's not, she doesn't directly have her feet behind one another. They're in a position where she's, she's kind of off center so, so that she can move correctly. Uh, there's, there's proper balance and, there's, and again, the vulnerable line is protected.